What's up guys, welcome back to my channel, somewhat united with me, Nathan. So we have game week 2 in the Premier League this week and I thought I'll do some predictions since that's what I said I would do. My predictions are, and I'll try and explain some of them too, just a little bit. So the first game, I think the early kickoff game is Everton versus West Brom with Chadian. They looked good last week. Alan and uh, Hamas Rodriguez from in the midfield. Hamas was just picking the ball with his left foot, you know, left, right, long ball, long ball. The Charleston was a little greedy. He had an open chance to cut it back for Calvert Lewin early in the first half, but uh, in the end they pulled off a victory. So I don't think it matters much. I think they'll have a better game week this week. I think they're going to gel better, and I don't think West Bromwich has much for them. Could be wrong, but I think I'm going to go with a, a three 0 Bold, a bold 3-0. This week, I think uh, you're going to get Richarlison and Calvert Lewin on the scorecards, probably. And I don't think West Bromwich can do anything about that. Next match is Leeds versus Fulham. See, now this is an interesting matchup because they were both promoted. They both lost. Fulham looked abysmal. They looked really, really bad. And, uh, you know, I don't know if Mitrovic is going to save them or not. Mitrovic is probably the only chance they have to stay up. Doesn't look like based on the first game, but of course one game is too little to tell. Leeds look good in their showing against Liverpool. Callum Phillips, he looked good. I thought he looked good. Harrison looked good. If you play FPL, I think it would be good to have a, a cheap Leeds player in your team. If you play FPL. I am. I am going to have Ailing, I think, in my team. I think so, yeah, in my defence. I predict a 2-0 win. I think Klitsch is, is the player on penalties. I have a feeling they're going to give one. I just not convinced with their defence after the Arsenal game in particular. I think that they're going to pull off a 2-0. I think Bamford's going to get on the scorecards. And I think a midfield, I think Harrison might get on again a Klitsch. I think a click. Klitsch, I think that's how you pronounce it. And here's the game that I'm going to obviously watch. It's the first game of the season. It's Manchester United versus Crystal Palace. It's our first game. I'm going to go with a, a bold 3-0 because I haven't seen any of the preseason games and I think Van Der Beek's going to start. So I'm very curious to see how he plays. A lot of energy in the midfield, hopefully. And uh, as of now, we have that's our only new signing. So that's a little worrisome for my team. The rumours were going around yesterday that we might get Alex Tellers also. We're going to have to look and see about that. And uh, Zaha is a little on and off. You know, some days he can cut through anyone and score. And some days he doesn't get enough of the ball to do anything about it sometimes. So his palace are a little on and off that way. We're going to have to see, but we did beat Southampton, but I think uh, I think our defence is a little better, a lot better. I think we're going to go 3-0. Martial and Bruno will probably get on the cards. I think Van Der Beek will, will start also. So I'm really looking forward to the game today. Then we have Arsenal and West Ham. And West Ham is also a team that's not looking good. So a lot of the experts are saying they might go down this season. Hopefully not. They are a big team and they have a lovely stadium. Hopefully they do enough to stay up, you know, and try to regroup. They have to try and regroup a lot. They have to rebuild. They might lose. They might even lose Declan Rice. They also lost a, a talented young player called Diangana. I think he was signed with West Bromwich. Talented, talented player. A lot of players and West Ham fans weren't happy about that sale, that transfer. Arsenal are going to be ruthless. They're going to beat them 4-0. You know, that sounds like a lot, but... Especially after what they did against Fulham, I think it's quite possible. I think Obama Yang and Lacazette are going to make things tough for them, really tough. Hopefully it's a good game. It shouldn't be that one-sided normally, but I think based on form, it might be very, very one-sided. We have Southampton versus Tottenham. We have Southampton at home, it's a tough game. We have Ings and Che Adams. Ings had a fantastic season last year. Fantastic. To score that many goals, you know, 20 plus goals in a, in a Southampton side in the league, it's very impressive. Tottenham, as you know, didn't have a really good start. It's it's going to be a tough game, you know, they both desperately need a win to kick off the campaign. I think uh, Tottenham just edged it out. I think uh, Sun will get a goal. Ings is going to open the account this week. I think so. Ings or Che Adams, I expect them to definitely score based on the latest game week news i don't think redmond will be playing so that's a very important factor in their team redmond's a very important player in the southampton team so it's bad timing because you know they need a they need a win but i think uh, southampton will will not get it done this week i predict a 2-1 win to tottenham then we have the game i think everyone's going to be watching chelsea and liverpool they just as of yesterday signed thiago alcantara from bayern munich I think they signed maybe two hours after that they signed Diogo Jota from Wolves for 45 million. So they have, their midfield and their attack is being boosted and they already have a dangerous attack in midfield. Very functional midfield. Chelsea has bought a lot of signings in Ben Chilwell, 
Kai Havertz, Timo Werner, Hakim Ziyech. I think there are too many signings at the moment, so it's going to be difficult for them to all gel together. And also, some of them aren't available. I don't think Pulisic is going to be fit enough to play the whole game. Ziyech won't be playing the whole game. I think Chilwell won't be available either. So it's going to be tough. Kai Havertz has to get used to playing in the Premier League. I think Liverpool will be too good for them this week. I predict a 3-1. Salah is going to get a brace again. I think so. Then we have Leicester and Burnley. And uh, you can't stop the Vardy party, I think, you know. I think Jamie Vardy is going to get goals. Burnley is a solid, solid defence. It's a, it's a tough game for anybody, most weeks. But I think Vardy will get through. He didn't have any shots on goal, but he scored two penalties last week. I think he'll get through this week. I think he's going to open his account and open play. I think he's going to get some goals in. I don't know if Barnes and Wood will both play, because if Barnes and Wood both play, they, they as a tandem, can give any defence trouble. They're very physical, physical players and, uh, you know, they can score any night. Very, very good players. They're very underrated strikers. But I think Leicester's going to get it done 2-0 is my prediction for that match. And then we have the last game. I believe it's Tuesday night our time. It's going to be Wolves versus Man City. Wolves is looking a little uh, exposed at the moment. They're, they're in for a, a new left back, Marçal from Lyon. I think he is. He's a Brazilian player in the French League. They got two early goals last week. Then, you know, they were pretty much on the back foot because Sheffield United had more of the ball. They had uh, more shots, you know, more passes. So Sheffield kind of came pulled back, but they, it was too late for them. Wolves took it last week 2-0. This week, I think, against Man City without uh, Diogo Jota, definitely not going to play now because he's been transferred. They are a weakened side because Jota was an important player for the Wolves team. Jimenez is still there and Adama Tra Traore is still there, but uh, I think it's going to be tough. There's, there's going to be a fresh Man City. It's going to be an eager Man City. They bought in Ferran Torres and uh, Nathan Ake. I believe uh, as of team news, Amerik Laporte is not going to be fit to play. So I think we're going to see Nathan Ake straight into action this week. I think it's going to be probably next to Fernandinho. And uh, they will be tested. Rao Jimenez will definitely test them. But I think they will get it done. I predicted a 2-1 victory to Man City. So those are my predictions for game week 2. Hopefully I'll get some right. Hopefully. At least, if not the scores. The scores are difficult to predict, of course. It's very difficult to predict uh, the scores. But the outcomes were correct. And uh, let's see how well I do. If you like the video, please like and share and subscribe to my channel for more content. Thank you for watching.